what is wrong with this solution? And this is the question. Find dy dx if y is equal to 2x plus 5 to the power of 3x. Now, I will give you a short moment to have a look at this solution so you can find out where exactly the student has gone wrong. So I suggest you pause this recording right now. All right, so let's have a look at this together. The chain rule is okay. u equal to 2x plus 5. Yes, that's okay. y is equal to u to the power of 3x. That would also be okay. du dx is 2. dy du is 3x times u to the power of 3x minus 1. Now, something's gone wrong here. What this student has done is they have regarded u to the power of 3x as u to the power of a constant. So if y is u to the power of a constant, of course dy du is going to be n u to the power of n minus 1. But that's not the case we have here. We have an x up there in the exponent, not a constant. And also, looking at this, we have a u here and an x there. And that is a mix of variables in the same expression. We can't just find the derivative of that. So this is the wrong approach. Let's have a look at another incorrect solution. Now, there's something wrong here, and I suggest that you pause this recording and see if you can find the mistake that the student has made. Let's have a look through this together. Now, dy dx, according to the chain rule, is indeed dy du u dx, so this is correct. u can be 2x plus 5, why not? Then y is u to the power of 3x, yep, why not? du dx is then equal to 2, that is correct. But let's have a look at dy du. We're trying to find the derivative of u to the power of 3x. But there's, first of all, two variables in there. There's an x and a u. How do we deal with that? And then, why would the derivative of u to the power of 3x be 3 times u to the power of 3x? So it appears that this student has mistaken u maybe for e, because the derivative of e to the power of 3x is, of course, 3 e to the power of 3x. This is the only explanation I could give for this. And of course, from then on, things go wrong. So the rest we don't need, even need to have a look at. It's incorrect. So what is the right solution if this is the wrong solution? And how could we have predicted something going wrong? All right. At this stage here, where you've got y equals u to the power of 3x, this is a major problem. We have u and x inside this function. And that is a mix that we can't easily deal with. Just u or just x are fine, but not both. So by substituting u equal to 2x plus 5, and only substituting out this part here, we still left the 3x in there, and that is the problem. So when we do this kind of substitution, we really want to remove any x that's in there and the only variable that's left in there is then u. Also, if you have x in the exponent, that is an indication that you might really have to use a different method, meaning you can't just uh, use the chain rule straight away because we get stuck here, we can't find the derivative of something there, but uh, you might have to use logarithms. There is logarithmic differentiation that you could use, or if you don't want to use that, Another option would be to uh, rewrite y, which is 2x plus 5 to the power of 3x, as e to the power of ln 2x plus 5 to the power of 3x. Now, the reason for rewriting it this way is that we now have a logarithm in there. And of course, we've got some nice properties of logarithms. One of them is that if we have an exponent inside, we can actually take it to the front and multiply by it. 
So by writing e to the power of ln, I'm not actually changing this. It's still equal, uh, but I've got my ln in there. So e to the power of x and ln x, of course, are inverse functions. That's why I can do this. So now I will write this as e to the power of 3x times ln 2x plus 5. And this I can find the derivative of. So I should probably use some form of substitution. We could choose u equal to 3x ln 2x plus 5. Remember what I said earlier, when you do substitution, make sure all of the x's disappear and not just some of them. And of course that means y is going to be e to the power of u. We then still need du dx, which um, after applying the product rule is not very difficult to find. So if I do this quickly, I get 3 ln x plus 5 plus 3x times 1 over x plus 5. And of course, dy du is simply e to the power of u again. And in the last step, I would have dy dx, which is going to be according to the chain rule, which is already listed up there dy du, so that's e to the power of u, and then du dx, so that makes it 3 ln x plus 5 plus 3x over x plus 5. And of course, in the last step, I need to replace u by, uh, where is it, 3x ln x plus 5. So what I would get, I'm going to move things up a little bit. So what I would get is e to the power of 3x ln x plus 5 times 3 ln x plus 5 plus 3x over x plus 5. And there's one more step we can take to simplify this exponential function, which um, is actually exactly like this one here which, of course, was just the start, 2x plus 5 to the power of 3x. And, of course, in here we still have um, 3 ln x plus 5. And I'm going to space here, plus 3x over x plus 5. So this is the correct solution to this type of problem.